Martin Kagan, the Executive Director of Cultural Affairs at Pace University in New York City. I also teach a course in the Lubin School of Business for the arts and entertainment majors, the undergraduate majors, in uh, managing creativity. And what I attempt to do in that class is to, is to broaden their understanding of creativity and the creative process. Most particularly what I try to do is try to demonstrate some of the differences between creativity in business and science versus the arts. This is um, an idea developed by Arthur Kunstler in his books and he talks about the difference being with, with creativity for business and science, it's all about solving a problem. While creativity in the arts is all about destruction of ideas, recreation, aesthetics, and beauty. Um, one of the other key differences between business and science and the arts is that uh, business and science is all about solving problems and working with uh, other people, usually uh, people within your own organization, uh, to solve that problem, to identify and solve that problem. In the arts, um, it tends to be more personal um, and tends to, artists tend to work more on their own rather than collaboratively. And also they tend to work more as um, gig workers versus being employed by a specific um, company or arts institution. This is very clear when you take a look at um, any of the arts institutions. You find that the while there are very few artistic or creative people on this staff, most of it is um, it. it um, it is uh, administrative staff and they bring in creative people around the production. The other interesting thing that's different between creativity in business and science and the arts is that the arts have interpreters which business and science don't have. Uh, the arts have, for example, with a um, play or with a piece of music, you have the original composition and then you have a conductor who may interpret that or uh, an arranger who interprets that uh, original piece of music or a director who interprets um, uh, the, um, the written word in a play. And then you have a further interpreter, which is the actors, who interpret it, their, um, their interpretation, which is then presented to the public. Um, ultimately, whether it's business and science or the arts, the public tends to be the final arbitrators of whether something is acceptable, is unique, is creative, um, and they're the ones that either buy it, attend the performances, um, or enjoy the product or service. So there's these unique differences, and when you also talk about the creative process too, you tend to get, in business and science, you tend to get more of a discussion uh, during the, during the uh, evaluation of, of the idea than you do in, in the arts, where in the arts, the artist who is working on the idea wants to finish it before he presents it to anybody else for their interpretation. <laughs>